What bet did this guy lose to pull guard duty for Tess Everest? You poor soul. Welcome back to OVN. Today we're going to talk about the Prismatic Recaster, why you should care. A like and a sub would be very much appreciated and let's get into it. We're far enough into the season that you guys know how the Prismatic Recaster works. I'm sure you've gone in and tinkered looking for that sweet god roll on that Aikilo sniper rifle, probably for the Fallen Guillotine. But one of the major benefits is that third enhancement in the Gifts of Light and Dark. Some of them give you an extra perk, you get an extra bonus, it costs less to focus some of these weapons. It is imperative that you have rank 3 unlocked for your character. Within Umbral Focusing, we can see that on this second tier here that we can go through all of these different variables and pick out exactly what we're looking for. Each one of these Umbral Ingrams offers two of the weapons and it's just basically random on which one you get when you actually go to code them. So let's take a look at the exact weapons we can get. First in, last out. Gnawing Hunger. Lonesome. Behringer's Memory. Nightwatch. Aikilo Sniper. Aikilos SMG, Falling Guillotine, Temptation Hook, Hollow Words, Breach Light, False Promises, Seventh Seraph Shotgun, Whispering Slab, Seventh Seraph Submachine Gun, Martyr's Revenge, Cold Denial, Optative, Bad Omens, and Temporal Claws. Outside of Optative and Temporal Claws, everything is going to be carried forward. So the 1060 cap on Temporal Claws and Optative is a bummer, but everything else in the Prismatic Recaster is fair game going forward. So why is this important? Why should we care about the Prismatic Recaster? Well, as we enter Beyond Light, we're not going to be able to bump up our power level on most of our current weapons. And as you can see here, all the MGs are capped at 1060. We're going to be getting a lot of new weapons in Beyond Light, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to have a head start. So if you can go in and acquire anything above that 1060 cap within the Prismatic Recaster, you'll be ahead of the game for Beyond Light. Thank you for watching. A like and a sub would be very much appreciated. We'll catch you guys next time.